Guten Tag. I am Gustav Mahler. I was born in 1860 and I died in 1911. What? How? I am dead? How can that be? Anyway, as I was saying, I was born in 1860 in Bohemia, which was a part of the Austrian Empire, into a Jewish family. My parents saw that I had a musical talent and arranged for piano lessons when I was six years old. At 15, I was admitted to the Vienna Conservatory, where I studied piano and composition. When I was only 20, I got a job as conductor of a summer theater in Germany, and I worked my way up through seven different opera houses ending in Budapest. There I conducted Richard Wagner's Ring Cycle, and I became very, very famous. When I was 37, I was offered the conducting job at the Vienna Opera House. Vienna was the biggest city in Europe at the time. It was very important. But there was one little tiny problem. By Austrian law, a Jew could not take that job. Oi, what to do? Hmm, well, you know, I wasn't a very devout Jew anyway. So I just converted to be a Catholic. Problem solved. In 1901, I was 41 years old, and I married Alma. She was 21. But things weren't so good in Vienna. My first daughter died when she was only four, and I was diagnosed with heart disease. I wanted to make Vienna a great opera house, and maybe, maybe I pushed people a little too hard. Maybe I asked people to do a little too much because I made some enemies there. And some people just couldn't forget that I was a Jew. So, in 1908, the Metropolitan Opera House of New York City offered me a great job, and I took it. My family and I crossed the Atlantic Ocean and went to America, but after one season I was replaced by Arturo Toscanini. Curse you, Toscanini! A year later I went to work at the New York Philharmonic Orchestra, but the work was so hard, I got sick. I just barely finished the last concert of the season. I had a terrible fever, and I didn't feel very good at all. They took me back to Paris, to the best doctors in the world, but nothing worked. I went to Vienna finally, and I died at age 51.